Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining our Thursday's virtual studio session. Today's peak post is going to be for will post. For items that we may need today, maybe a yoga block, but mainly just some water or something to drink to stay hydrated during our session here today. Maybe we can dull our lights, light a candle, set our diffuser, anything we feel we may need to relax our mind and our bodies here today. As we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, I am sitting in an easy seat, half lotus. Maybe find any easy seat that feels good for you. Using the seat to help relax and center our body. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight and our spinal cords are nice and long, meaning we are not sunken down. We are nice and straight, having control of our bodies with our shoulders relaxed downward away from our ears, releasing any tension we may have in our upper bodies. Gazing our eyes down with our palms flat on our legs. As we take a nice deep breath in, Exhale. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath and the down gaze relaxes and soothes the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. As we gaze down, four breaths, silent meditation. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our head in our seated salute, fingertips are reaching up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Spinal cord is nice and long, heart chakra is open, chin is slightly up. Notice it. Breathe in. Get it towards right side, softly gazing over that right shoulder, lowering the arms downward towards the earth, feeling that spinal twist. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing the arms back up to the side. We are in our seated star. As we breathe in, exhale, seated twist, opposite side. Palms go downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Soothing the spinal cord here. Three breaths. Exhale back to center in our star. Palms are off to the side. Chin slightly up. Breathe in. Exhale, see the twist, opposite side, gazing over that shoulder, palms go downward towards the earth, spinal twist. Two more breaths. Exhale, back to center, palms off to the side, heart chakra is open, breathe in. Exhale, see the twist, opposite side, palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that left shoulder. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming to our seated star as we flow to our seated salute. Breathing to our seated prayer, palms at heart center. Allowing our palms to relax on the earth beside our bodies. Palms are planted downward on the earth. As we check in with our environment, taking a moment to notice what is going on around us. Without judgment, simply being aware during our session here today, we may hear noises, we may become distracted. May we take notice of what is going on, only allowing in what is soothing and comforting to us in our practice. Two breaths of silence. Breathe in. 
Exhale. As we allow our bodies to lean towards the right, left arm comes up in the air over the head. We're flowing into a C spine here. Allowing our head to relax downward towards our shoulder. As our shoulder melts downward towards the earth, feeling that nice deep spinal bend here. And maybe we can slightly gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra a little more. Three breaths. Exhale into center, both palms are on the earth. As our bodies lean towards the left, right arm comes up over our head, feeling that C-spine, opposite side. Head relaxes downward towards the shoulder. Shoulder relaxes downward towards the earth, coming deeper in that C-spine. As we slightly gaze up at the heavens, opening up that heart chakra. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling our bodies back to center. As we breathe to our salute, palms above the head. Breathe in. Exhale to our prayer. Two breaths, silent meditation. As we breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we find our bodies flowing into a tabletop position, coming onto our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. Forms are straight as we flow down to our cow, ensuring that we are not bending our elbows. Our tummies go downward towards the earth, chin comes slightly up. We are in our cow. As we flow to our cat, Chin comes towards our clavicle. Spinal cord goes up in the air. Flowing back down to our cow as we do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna take our right arm and reach it up towards the heavens, opening up that heart chakra as we gaze up at our right hand. Feeling that nice stretch here. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle. Right arm threads through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth as we gaze our eyes down and close our eyes. Allowing the body to relax and go inward. And if we choose, we can wrap that left arm around our backs. Or we can extend that left arm above our head, palms flat on the earth. Thread the needle, five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we drop down to our cow, flow into our cat, exhale back to our table. As we lift that left arm up in the air, opening up that heart chakra, gazing up, up, gazing up at those left hands, the left fingers. Breathe in. Thread the needle, left arm flows through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, gaze in the eyes down. Allow on the back here. And if we choose, we can wrap this right arm around our backs or place it above our head, palms flat on the earth, five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, 
We're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back into our table position. We're going to bring our legs close together. They are no longer hip distance apart. We're going to bring our legs closer together, placing our palms flat on the earth, kind of close to our legs. We're going to flow into a hard pose, allowing the top of our head to relax on the earth on a yoga mat. So we're going to slightly bend down and place the top of our head onto the yoga mat. We're going to be gazing back at our thighs. This is called a hard pose. Maybe walking your knees towards your elbows, noticing how this feel as our bodies are curled up. This hard pose prepares our body for headstand and it's also going to prepare us for our full wheel pose. As we relax here, applying this light pressure to the tops of our heads, six natural breaths. Three more breaths. Mm. And maybe we can slightly move our hands slightly closer to our head and push our legs up. Which will allow us to apply a little bit more pressure onto our head. So pushing our feet up, our buttocks comes high in the air. It's kind of like we're in a dolphin pose, but we're not on our four arms. We're going to hang out here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose, using this pose to relax and soothe. Heart chakra comes downward as our eyes are gazed down. Five breaths. Mm. Three more breaths. Extending our palms in front of us, if they were not already, we are in our extended child's pose or puppy pose. Slightly gazing forward as we rock our bodies from side to side, opening up our thighs, opening up our hips. Two breaths. With our palms planted flat on the earth, we're gonna do a couple of spinal waves, using our palms to push our bodies forward, using our palms to push our bodies backward. Spinal waving it to our natural breath. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna come on down to our tummies. We're gonna flow into a Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms and we are on our tummies. This is a slight back bend here. As we are slack gazing forward, ensuring that our shoulders are not sunken down towards, ensuring that our ears are not sunken down towards our shoulders. We wanna have control of our body here in our Sphinx pose, relaxing on our forearms. As we slightly gaze down, taking a moment to check in with our bodies, three breaths, two more breaths, As we flow to a baby cobra, bringing our palms closer towards our chest with our elbows bent, we're gonna come into a cobra. This is a baby cobra because our elbows are bent. Hanging out here, two breaths. As we flow to a cobra, straightening our elbows a little more. This is a deeper back bend. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up, cobra. As we flow to an up dog, Taking our thighs off the earth, chin is slightly up, 
heart chakras open. We are in our up dog. Hanging out here, two breaths. Exhale into our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet side by side. Finding pause as we flow to our high plank. Hovering over the yoga mat, we can come into a low plank if that feels good for us. Two breaths. Exhale back down dog. Going back to our up dog. Thighs are off the earth. Chin slightly up. As we flow down to our cobra, we are now on our thighs. Our elbows are straight. Two breaths. Exhaling down to our baby cobra. We are bending our elbows. Bodies closer towards the earth. Flowing back down to our space pose. We are back on our forearms. As we take a nice deep breath in, Exhale. As we flow down, we're going to come into a Superman or a Supergirl. We're going to swim our arms forward. Legs are off the earth. Feet are off the earth. We are in a Superman, Supergirl as we are gazing forward. This is a slight back bend. And if you want to rock from side to side, feel free to do so. This pose is not good for pregnant people. Two more breaths. As we swim our hands to the back, coming into a locust pose. Swimming our hands to the back, palms are upwards, facing the heaven. Our thighs, our feet are still off the earth. Locust pose, this is a little bit more of a deeper back bend. Three breaths. Exhale and relaxing the body downward, allowing the arms to relax on the earth as we relax on our forehead. Allowing the shoulders to melt forward. Using this moment to relax and soothe the body. Three breaths. Maybe taking in a nice deep breath. Exhale. Two more breaths. Exhaling back up out of that sleeping position. We are back in our locus. Palms are facing up towards the heavens. Feet are off the earth. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up. Two breaths. As we flow into our bow pose, we can come into a half bow taking our right hand to our right ankle, or we can come into a full bow, left hand to left ankle. And notice how this lifts our torso off the earth even more. This is a deeper back bend as we hang out here for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. We're gonna do a bonus, two more breaths. Exhaling now, flowing back to that locust. Gazing forward, eyes gaze down. Swimming our hands forward, coming back into that Superman, Supergirl. Two breaths. Crossing our hands in front of us. We're gonna come into a rest pose. Palms are stacked on top of each other as we allow our cheeks or our chin to relax on our hands as our feet and our bodies melt down into the yoga mat. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Gaze in the eyes down, four breaths of silence.
two more breaths. As we awaken from that sleeping position, finding our bodies back in our baby cobra, bringing, bringing our palms next to our chest, elbows are bent, we are in our baby cobra, feeling this slight back bend here. As we flow to our cobra, straightening out our elbows, chin slightly up, maybe allowing our head to melt between our shoulder blades, two breaths, Exhaling to our up dog, taking our thighs off the earth, heart chakras open, chin slightly up, two breaths. Exhaling to our down dog, gazing back at our feet. Maybe we can pedal our, walk our dog by pedaling our feet. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight. Three breaths. Mm. Mm. Two more breaths. As we flow to a three-legged dog, right side, lifting that right leg up in the air, gazing back at our foot. Mm. Feeling that stretch, maybe we can bend our right foot towards our left buttocks, opening up that hip. And we can stay here in this pose or flow back to our down dog. And for those who choose, may we flow over to that wild thing. Feeling that full body stretch, this is a deep back bend. The poses we just did, Prepare our body for this wild thing. Feeling the stretch. Allow that one to flow over your head. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe in, exhale. Come into our down dog. Gazing at our feet. Maybe we can walk our dog. Going down to our dolphin. Coming onto our forearms. We are in our dolphin pose. Gazing back at our feet. Maybe we can walk our feet closer towards our torso. Noticing how our buttocks comes higher in the air. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Gaze and the eyes down, allow, allowing the chest to melt forward as we soothe and relax for four breaths. Maybe we can take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Coming into an extended child's pose or puppy pose if we were not already, meaning palms are extended in front of us, palms straight on the earth. Slightly gazing forward as we spinal wave our bodies out of this position. Allowing the spinal wave to relax and soothe the spinal cord. Two breaths. As we find our pose at center, coming back to our table. As we push our bodies up to that down dog, gazing back at our feet. Maybe pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we float, three-legged dog, opposite side. Left leg's in the air, nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. And if we choose, we can bend that left foot towards that right buttocks, opening up that hip. We can hang out here, flow back to our down dog, or flow over to a wild thing. Feeling that full body stretch. This is also a nice deep back bend. Strengthening the body. Three more breaths. 
two more breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale back down dog. Gazing at our feet, walking our dog. Going to our up dog. Exhale back down dog. As we flow to our high plank, shifting our weight forward. We are in our high plank or low plank, whatever feels good for you. As we come on down to a low plank or a chaturanga, we're gonna hover over our yoga mat for a couple breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling down to our Sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. Our shoulders are melted away from the ears. Chin slightly up. Our gaze down. As we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Three breaths of silence. As we flow to our baby cobra, bringing our palms at our chest, elbows are slightly bent, chest is away from the earth. As we flow to our cobra, straightening out those elbows. As we breathe, up dog, thighs are off the earth. We are in our up dog. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet. Going on to our forearms, coming into our dolphin pose. Walking our feet towards our torso. If anyone wanna flow into a headstand, feel free to play around in a headstand. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Going down to our child's pose or our puppy pose. Taking a moment of rest. Three breaths. As we extend our palms in front of us, we're gonna spine and wave our bodies out of this position. <sighs> Using our hands to push our torsos forward. Using our hands to push our torsos back. Two more breaths. <sighs> Maybe we can find our paws at table and rotate our hips. Coming into a couple of circular rotations here. Instead of spine and waving it, we're gonna do circular rotations at our hips. And if we choose, we can add our neck, our cervical spine, into the rotations with our eyes closed and simply having fun in this pose, awakening and loosening up our bodies. Three breaths. <sighs> Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna come to our table, knees are hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow, ensuring that our elbows are straight, flowing to our cat. Coming back to our table. As we come to a seated position, we're gonna cross our feet and find our bodies in a seated pose. Just one second, we're gonna straighten our legs out, coming into a square pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Tummy's nice and tight, our back is nice and straight, heart chakra's open, chin slightly up. As we breathe our palms above our head in our salute, exhale into prayer. As we hinge at our hips, coming into a complete forward fold. This is a full body stretch, allowing our chest to melt downward towards our thighs with our eyes gaze down, full breaths.
two more breaths. Exhale into a half forward fold, our heart chakra is slightly up. Breathe back down to that complete forward fold. Exhale back, half forward fold, heart chakra is open. As we flow back to our staff pose, taking a moment to check in here, we're going to bring our right foot up in the air, knees up in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. We're gonna cross this right foot over that left leg. Yes. We're gonna take this right hand and bring it behind our back. Palms placed flat on the earth. We're working on a spinal twist here. We're gonna take this left elbow and cross it over that right knee. We're gonna gaze over that right shoulder. Feel in this spinal twist, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. We're gonna straighten out that leg. We're gonna take the opposite leg, bringing that left leg up, knees in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. We're gonna take this left foot and cross it over that right. We're gonna take this left hand, place it behind our backs, fingertips facing away from us. We're gonna take this right elbow and cross it over that left knee. We're gonna gaze over that left shoulder. We are in our lower upper fish pose. Four breaths. Relaxing and soothing the spinal cord. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. We're gonna uncross that leg. Straightening it out, back in our staff. As we hinge at our hips, coming back to that complete forward fold, reaching our hands down to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet, feeling this full body stretch with our eyes gaze down. Three breaths. Go into our half forward fold, heart chakra slightly up. Exhaling back to our staff. As we come onto our backs, we're gonna bring our knees into our chest. Knees to chest pose. Hugging our knees into our chest. Allowing our backs to melt into the yoga mat. With our eyes gaze down the clothes as we hug our knees into our chest. Two breaths. Allowing our legs to go up in the air, legs on the wall pose, invisible wall in our case. Just hanging out here for a couple of breaths. We're gonna do a couple of dorsiflexes here. We're gonna point our feet up towards the heavens. Then we're gonna point our feet downward towards our head. So we're doing plantar dorsiflexes here. Just working on the lower parts of our bodies, working on our ankles. So bringing our feet downward towards our bodies, towards our head, then pointing them up towards the heavens. Feeling that stretch, two breaths. We're gonna do a couple rotations. One more breath rotation. And tell the feet up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. As we reach our hands downward to the lower parts of our legs, we're gonna grab our legs and bring our legs in towards our chest. Feeling this full body stretch. Three breaths. Exhaling our legs back up to legs on the wall. As we bring our knees in, hugging them in. As we allow our knees to fall towards the left, recline, spinal twist. Knees fall to the left, right arm comes out to the side like a T. As we gaze over that right arm or gaze up at the heavens, with our eyes gaze down and closed, as our bodies melt into the yoga mat, five breaths. Three more breaths. Mm. 
as we take a nice deep breath in. Exhaling our knees back to center, hugging the man knees to chest. Allowing our knees to fall towards the right. Recline spinal twist, opposite side. Left arm goes out to the side like a T. As we gaze over that left arm or gaze up at the heavens, with our eyes closed to gaze down as our bodies melt into the yoga mat. Five breaths. Three more breaths. As we exhale back to center, we're gonna hug our knees into our chest, bringing our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. As we allow our knees, our legs to fall and we're coming into a happy baby. Knees to chest, feet is up in the air. As we bring our hands between our thighs, connecting our hands to the outsides of our feet, we are in our happy baby. The earth is completely relaxing and soothing our spinal cord as our eyes are gazed down or closed. Maybe we can rock from side to side in our happy baby if that feels good. Or we can stay still. We can also bring our feet towards our head, feeling that stretch one at a time. Also from our happy baby, we can go into a shoulder press by taking our feet and bringing our leg over our shoulder. Then doing the opposite side. This is our shoulder press. And of course we can flow into a pretzel if we choose. May we hang out here in our happy baby in freestyle for six natural breaths. <sighs> Three more breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Two more breaths. As we breathe our legs up in the air, back to legs on the wall poles, pointing our toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Reaching our hands downward to the backs of our feet, bringing our legs towards our torso, feeling that full body stretch. We're coming our legs back up to legs on the wall. As we breathe our knees into our chest, Allowing our feet to flow flat on the earth. Feet are flat on the earth. Knees are up in the air. We're going to work on our bridge pose here. Palms are flat on the earth next to our buttocks. Feet are flat on the earth. Knees are in the air. As we push our buttocks off the earth, we are working on lifting and rounding our gluteus maximus here. We are in our bridge pose. We're going to hang out here for a couple of breaths. We can do a couple of bridge pose pulses if we choose by bringing our buttocks slightly down towards the earth and then lifting our buttocks back up high. This is our bridge pose pulse. This rounds and lengthens, this rounds and lifts our gluteus maximus. We're gonna do this for a couple breaths. We're gonna find our pause and lift our gluteus maximus up nice and high, feeling that burn Squeeze in nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three breaths. Feeling that burn. Exhale and our gluteus maximus down. Coming back down for a couple breaths. Relax in the body. Eyes gaze down to close. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Allowing our shoulder blades to melt backwards into the yoga mat. Now when our bodies to completely relax. Two breaths of silence.
placing our palms back on the earth next to our buttocks. Knees are up in the air, feet are flat down on the earth. As we come back up to that bridge pose, lifting our gluteus maximus off the earth. And this time we're gonna bring our hands underneath our buttocks. We're gonna walk our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. Noticing how our hips come higher in the air and our chest comes higher in the air. We are now deeper in our bridge. And we're gonna do a couple of pauses, lifting our gluteus maximus up in the air, then coming slightly down towards the earth. Then coming back up in the air. Going as fast or as slow as we choose. Four breaths. Feeling the burn. Two more breaths. Mm. Pulsing the gluteus maximus up. Just pulsing it. Staying high. Pulsing it up. Noticing how that burns the gluteus, the gluteus maximus here. We are going to work this muscle. Four breaths. Pulsing it up in our bridge. Mm. Two more breaths, fill in a burn. Coming up nice and tight and holding it, holding that crunch. Fill in a burn, three breaths, two breaths. Exhale back down, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Lifting our legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Reaching down to the backs of our legs, bringing our legs in towards our chest. Feeling that stretch. Exhaling back to center, legs on the wall. Bringing our knees into our chest. Feet are flat on the earth, knees are in the air. As we come back up to that bridge pose. Walking our shoulder blades back towards our spinal cord. We are in our high bridge still. And this time we're gonna work on a three-legged bridge. We're gonna start on the right side, taking that right foot up in the air. We're gonna place that right foot on that left thigh. We are in our three-legged bridge. Gazing up into heavens, noticing how this feels. And if all is well, we can extend that leg up in the air, three-legged bridge with our extended foot. Gazing up at that foot with our feet, our foot pointed towards the heavens. Feeling that plantar flex. Three breaths. Tapping that foot back down to that thigh. Lifting that gluteus maximus up, up in the earth, up off the earth. Two more breaths. As we bring that leg up in the air, tap it down. Up in the air, tap it down. One more time, up in the air, hold it, tap it down, back to our bridge, relaxing back on our gluteus maximus, just relaxing, hanging out here for a moment. Feet are flat on the earth, knees are in the air, buttocks is on the earth. Shoulder blades are melted to the yoga mat with our eyes gazed down the close. Three breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Two more breaths. Coming back up, we're gonna flow back into that bridge pose. Taking our feet flat on the earth, knees are in the air. Using our palms to push our gluteus maximus off the earth. We're gonna work on a three-legged bridge opposite side. We're gonna bring our palms underneath our buttocks, walking our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. We're gonna take that left foot this time, left foot, place it on top of that right thigh. We are in our three-legged bridge as we are gazing up at the heavens. Three breaths. As we extend that left foot up in the air, if we're able, Pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens, feeling that full stretch. Two more breaths. As we bring that left foot back down to our thigh, we're gonna tap it. Left foot 
to right thigh. Back in the air. Back to the thigh. Back in the air. Back to the thigh. One more time. Back in the air, holding it up. Back to the thigh. Two more breaths. Exhaling down to our bridge. Both of our feet are flat on the earth. We're going to lift our gluteus maximus up nice and high. Hands are underneath our buttocks. Our shoulder blades are towards our spinal cord. We're going to come nice and high in this bridge. And we're going to do a couple of pulses. And I know our body's getting nice and warm and hot here. But we're going to keep on flowing. We are building strength. We are taking our bodies to new levels. Four breaths. Feeling that pulse. And maybe hanging up here. Feeling that crunch. Gluteus maximus gets nice and round. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Ooh. Feeling that crunch nice and tight. Lifting that gluteus maximus up nice and high. Going as deep as we can. Getting that full crunch. Three more breaths. Exhale down, relaxing the body, hugging those knees into the chest, hugging them in. Eyes are gazed down. Nice deep breath. Exhale. Bringing the legs back up in the air. Reaching our hands down to the backs of our legs, bringing our legs towards our head, feeling that full body stretch. Exhale back up to legs on the wall. Bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in. Gazing our eyes down. Allowing our shoulder blades to melt back into the yoga mat. As we hang out here, five breaths, silent meditation. Three more breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. We're going to work on our peak pose here. Placing both of our feet right on the earth. Our knees are in the air. We're going to take our hands, reach them up in the air. Fingertips are playing. Fingertips are in the air. And we're going to bring our fingertips towards our shoulder blades. So our palms are, fingertips are up in the air. Now our palms are up in the air. As our fingertips come down towards our shoulder blades. Yes. Now my hands, our palms are flat on the earth. Fingertips are towards our shoulder blades. And we're going to take our gluteus maximus and we're going to lift our buttocks off the earth like we do when we're in a bridge pose. But this time, both of our palms are up towards our head. Fingertips are towards our shoulder blades. And we're going to push our buttocks off the earth. Yes. Take a moment to notice how this feels as we're pushing our bodies up. We just want to see how this feels in our arms when we're in this position. If we have any pain or any discomfort in our arms and our shoulders when we are doing this, that means that our bodies is not ready for that four wheel pose and we're not going to do the four wheel pose. We'll freestyle and do whatever we want to do. So taking a moment to notice how this feels, lifting that gluteus maximus up. If that feels well, we're going to come a little higher. Hands are still in the same position. Palms are flat on the earth. Fingertips are towards the shoulder blade. Feet are flat on the earth. Knees are in the air as we push our buttocks off the earth. And this time we're going to try to push our torso off the earth. See that there? We're just going to slightly, we're just going to slightly push our torso off the earth. And we're going to re relax on the tops of our heads. This is why we prep in that hard pose. Because we want us to put pressure on the tops of our heads. So seeing how this feels in the body. And sometimes it might help if we're on our tippy toes and if we're not flat on our feet. So maybe giving it a try on your tippy toes. We can be, make sure I'm on the camera, yes. So we can be flat on our feet and we can do it or we can be on our tippy toes. Sometimes on the tippy toes, it makes it easier. And we're gonna come back down to the earth and take a moment to see how that feels in our bodies. And if all feels well, we're going to flow into that full wheel pose. Starting from the beginning, 
Feet flat on the earth, knees are in the air. Hands come up in the air, going towards the shoulder blades. Palms are flat on the earth. Lifting up our gluteus maximus. Lifting up our torso off the earth. As we lift our whole body up, and we're on our tippy toes maybe, or we might be flat on the earth, or we might be on our tippy toes. As we are gazing back in the opposite direction of the room, we are in our full wheel pose. This is a deep, deep back bend. We're gonna hang out here, four breaths, coming out of this pose whenever you need to. Two more breaths. Hanging out here, playing around. We're gonna do a bonus, two more breaths. As we exhale out, maybe coming flat on our feet, coming back onto our head. Noticing how this feels as we flow down to our buttocks, bringing our knees back into our chest, hugging them in. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. Allowing our knees to fall towards the left, recline spinal twist. We're going to soothe our spinal cord here. Knees fall to the left. Right arm comes off to the side. As we gaze our eyes down and allow our bodies to melt into the yoga mat. Going inward with silence for five breaths. Allowing the body to completely relax here. Three more breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. We're taking long breaths this time. Exhaling back to center, bringing our knees into our chest. Hugging them in. Exhale, recline, spinal twist, opposite side. Knees fall towards the right. We can straighten out our legs if we choose and our recline, spinal twist. Left arm goes out to the side as we gaze over that left arm. We gaze up at the heavens. Eyes are gazed down and closed. Body melts into the yoga mat. Finding our bodies completely relaxed here. Breathe in. Exhale. Five more breaths. Three more breaths. Minus two more breaths. Mm. Exhaling back to center, bringing our knee to our chest, hugging them in. Mm. Lifting both legs up in the air, up in the air, legs on the wall post. This time we're going to let our left leg relax downward towards the earth with our right leg up in the air. We're going to bring that right leg towards our body, feeling that stretch. Maybe bringing our hand to toe, feeling that hand to toe extension if we're able. And bringing that leg towards the torso, stretching the body here. As we are gazing up at the heavens, taking in natural breaths. Two more breaths. Bringing our knees in towards our chest, knees to chest, legs up in the air. As our right leg relaxes downward towards the earth, we're gonna do that hand to toe extension, reaching our hand to the toe if we're able, as we bring that left leg towards our bodies, feeling this full body stretch. 
take a natural breast here. We also can use a strap and put a strap around our feet as well if we have a strap. Probably should have said that earlier. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhale and our knees to chest, hugging them in. <clears throat> Extending our legs in our Shavasana just for a second. We're gonna do a full body stretch. Extending our palms above our heads. So our feet are going in one direction, point it into the opposite direction. So we're gonna point our feet downward towards the earth, feeling that plantar flex. Feet are pointed downward. As our palms are above our heads, maybe our chest is slightly off the earth and we're feeling this full body stretch. Two breaths. And we're gonna flow into our banana pose by taking our right foot, bringing our right foot off towards the right, slightly. We're gonna take that left foot and cross it over the right foot. And we're going to take our bodies and bend our bodies towards the right. We are in our banana pose. This is a slight free spine. So you'll notice that your body is shaped like a banana. You may feel this in your spinal cord, noticing how it feels in a C spine. We're going to hang out here for four breaths, maybe gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes, taking a moment to notice how this pose feels within a body. Let's make it five breaths of silence. Mm. Three more breaths. We're going to exhale back to center, uncrossing that foot, bringing the legs back to center, bringing our bodies back to center. We are back in that full body stretch. As we take our left foot, bring it slightly off towards the left, just slightly. We're going to take that right foot and cross it over that left foot. And we're going to take our body and lean it towards the left. We are in our banana pose, opposite side. Allowing our eyes to gaze down, feeling the C-spine in the opposite direction as we relax in silent meditation for five breaths. Three more breaths. As we walk our bodies back to center, coming back to that full body stretch, uncrossing our feet, stretching our bodies, feet go in one direction. Feet are pointed downward towards the earth. Palms are above our heads, feeling that full body stretch. Exhale and bringing our palms inward. Arms come in. We're going to come back to that knees to chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. As we cross our feet at our ankles, we're going to push our bodies up, coming into a boat pose. We're going to work on our abdominals. We got to get some abs in here. We're going to work on our abdominals. Our feet are crossed at our ankles if that feels good. Or we can have our feet parallel, straight with our hands. Or we can extend those legs up in the air. We are in our boat pose. We are working on our abdominals and our obliques. We're going to hang out here, gazing forward for five breaths. Tummy's nice and tight. Three more breaths.
and we're going to keep on flowing and we're going to do a couple of taps. We're going to work our obliques a little more. So we're going to tap our bodies left and right, going as fast or as slow as we choose. Tapping it, working the obliques. Five breaths. Tummy's tight. Three more breaths. We're gonna do a bonus, two more breaths. As we find our pause, we are back in our boat pose. We're gonna bring our hands and our feet together. So our feet are inside of our hands, playing around for a second. We're gonna work on boat pose variation. They also call this bear pose. Backs are nice and straight. If our backs are not straight and kind of sunken, we may fall over. So please keeping that back nice and straight, have a control of that body. As we extend that left leg out towards the side, feeling that, you may feel it behind your legs in your hamstring here. Taking a moment to notice how this feels as we gaze forward. We are in our boat pose variation, AKA bear pose. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe that foot back inward, we're going to switch sides, taking that right leg out towards the side, feeling that stretch. You may feel it in your hamstrings behind your legs here. As we are gazing forward, ensuring that our backs are nice and straight. Natural breaths. We are balancing the bodies here. Two more breaths. Exhaling that leg back in. Keeping our feet up in the air as we bring that towards the side. And if all feels good, we're going to bring that right leg out towards the side. We are in our full bow pose variation or our bear pose. Backs are straight as we are gazing forward. Our tummies are nice and tight. Four breaths. <sighs> and maybe we can widen our legs if we choose, seeing how far our legs can go. Coming into a nice wide W if we're able, just widening those legs out. Two more breaths. As we bring the legs inward, we're gonna bring the legs together. Noticing how this feels in the body, keeping our core tight, back straight. Taking a moment to notice how it feels in the body. Two more breaths. As we come back to wide-legged, hanging out here, two more breaths, gazing forward. As we breathe our feet and we're coming into a bolt pose or a butterfly pose. This is a hip opener. Just going to take a moment to notice how this feels in our bodies. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies, yes. And in our diamond, our feet are further away. Taking a moment to notice how it feels in the body. With our palms relaxed on our ankles, we're gonna flow into a cat cow rotation, maybe starting in a cow, heart chakra comes up, chin is slightly up, feeling this inside of our lower backs. Maybe allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades. Two breaths. Exhale into our cat. Our chin comes towards our clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Breathing back to our cow. And maybe we can do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. As we find our pause at center, and maybe we can Hinge at our hips, bringing our heart chakra towards our feet with our eyes gaze down. Taking natural breaths here. Now when our shoulder blades to melt forward. If you choose, you can extend your palms in front of you. Noticing how that feels. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. 
Exhaling back to center. Doing a couple of cat cows. Heart chakra comes up. Flowing back to our cat. Back to our cow. Flowing back to our diamond or our butterfly. Using our hands to bring our legs inward. As we flow onto our hands and our knees, we are back in our table. Tummies are nice and tight as we extend that right leg towards the back. We are in our bird pose or sunbird pose. As we are gazing forward, and if we choose, we can lower the toes downward towards the earth, that leg up towards the back. As we extend that left arm forward, we are in our full sunbird gazing forward. We are balancing and strengthening here. Four breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we take a deep breath in, exhale knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird. Flow into that table as we sunburn opposite side, taking that left leg towards the back. Keep in mind that we can lower those toes downward towards the earth if that feels good for us. As we extend that right arm forward, we are in our full sunburn. As we are gazed forward, tummies are nice and tight here. Balancing and strengthening. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird. Lower back to our table. As we drop down to our cow, elbows are nice and straight. We don't want to bend our elbows, keeping them straight. Flow into our cat. Coming back to our table. Pushing our bodies up to our damn dog. Gazing at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, tummy's nice and tight. We in a fine pause, coming into a three-legged dog. Gazing at our feet. We're gonna bring that knee to our elbow. Feeling that crunch, knee to elbow. Tummy's nice and tight. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, tummy's nice and tight. Back to three-legged dog. Knee to elbow, holding it in. Two breaths, building strength in the arms, abdominals tight. Two more breaths. Exhale back to three-legged. Flowing back to down dog. Walking our dog. We're gonna keep on flowing, building strength. Three-legged opposite side. Exhaling, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged, knee to elbow, back to three-legged, knee to elbow, holding it in, building strength in the arms, abdominals, two breaths, back to three-legged, low into down dog, as we walk our hands towards, our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold, three breaths, Long into a half forward fold. Breathing back down to a complete forward fold. Maybe flowing into a rag doll if that feels good for you. Maybe swaying the body from side to side as we take a nice deep breath. Exhale. Complete forward fold, rag doll. Three more breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna flow to a half forward fold, heart chakra slightly up. 
Breathing to Watadasana, palms are at our side. Breathing our palms above our head in our salute. Exhale into our prayer. As we hinge at our hips, we're gonna bend our knees coming into a chair pose. Working the lower parts of our bodies here. Chair pose, we can be in prayer hands, we can extend our palms in front of us. Four breaths. Two breaths. Coming back to prayer hands in our chair pose. Two breaths. Building strength. And we're gonna stay down low. We're gonna spread our legs slightly apart. We're gonna come into a squat. Not a yoga squat, but a squat. Just gonna do a couple squats before we close it out here today. When we squat it out, or we can we can goddess dance, whatever you choose. We're just gonna build strength. So squatting it out here with goddess pose. Whatever you choose, we can cross it up and down. Or we can we can rock it from side to side. We're gonna do our goddess or our squat for seven breaths. Freestyling, whatever you choose. Maybe going back and forth between the two. Six more breaths. Four more breaths. Tummy's nice and tight. Three more breaths. Feeling a burn. Keep on going. Two more breaths. Woo, almost there. We're gonna do a bonus here. Two more breaths. Filling a pause, filling a rock. Finding pause, complete forward fold, wide legged. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Walking our hands forward, coming back to that forward fold, bringing our legs inward together. Exhale into our up dog. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up, thighs are off the earth. Exhale down to our cobra. Sorry, thighs are on the earth, elbows are straight. Exhale into our baby cobra. We're gonna bend our elbows, kind of closer towards the earth. Flowing down to our sphinx pose. Whew. Ensuring that we are not sunken. Having control of our bodies. Shoulders away from the ears. Heart chakra slightly open. Eyes are gazed down. As we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Maybe we can come right down to a sleep pose. Crossing our palms in front of us here. Relaxing our cheeks or our forehead onto our palms. With our eyes gaze down or closed, allowing our chest to melt forward into the yoga mat. Using this pose to relax and soothe and go inward as we are focused on self and self care here today. Natural breaths, noticing how the body. It's becoming relaxed, soothed, and tranquil. Going inward. Bodies relaxed. As we hang out, silent meditation with seven natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly push our bodies out of that sleep position, 
bringing our hands towards our torso. Pushing our bodies up, coming onto our hands and our knees. We are back in our table only for a second as we cross our feet at our ankles coming, at our ankles coming into a seated pose. Any seated pose that feels good for you, I'm gonna come into a cow face. Maybe find any seat that you choose. Maybe we can keep our eyes gaze down or keep our eyes closed if that feels good for us. Ensuring that our tummies are nice and tight and our spinal cord is nice and long. Shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As our eyes gaze down, we are inward here. Maybe we can bring our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Allowing the thumbs to touch the sternum if that feels good. As we take a nice deep breath in, hold the breath. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale fully. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. Self-care is a necessity. It is a must. For we all know we cannot pour from an empty cup. We cannot do for another if we do not do for ourselves. We must take time for us. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to guide you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in me. Namaste. Namaste.